Hey guys, and welcome back to a new episode of Sly Cooper and the Thuis Rockiness. In the episode, we got let's laps. In the last episode, we did Boneyard Casino, straight to the top, and to the Tango. In this episode, we do Back Alley Heist. The mug, they're gonna defeat Mugshot and possibly start Miss Ruby's area and stuff like that. So, yeah, we got. This means we got two. Down. Hold on, I have to go. Oh, wait, I had to go this way. <laughs> well, I had to go. I went the long, going the long way. But yeah, basically, basically, we're gonna finish up Mugshot in this episode. But I think we're gonna start Miss Ruby's. Like, we're definitely. I mean, it depends on how long I decided that how long the video is gonna end up being. It's like that. So, uh, yeah, just th th look at that. Look at that. Look at that waterfall. Those waterfall look cool though. Well, yeah. But basically, we do. Basically, we get the last key. And a uh, mugshot's area, and then defeat mugshot, and then start Miss Ruby's area, and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, I know the last episode. One thing of funny about the last episode, the last episode, I accidentally uh, what was it? I accidentally uh, had the echoing on my TV because I had my TV on when recording this. So like, so I picked up my TV TV audio as well as like you know just you know my capture cord that had the sound on my capture cord. So like. It showed an echoing of the game, so like, so yeah, there's there's that and all. So like, so like half the ha, like half the video, or like I think it was like eight minutes or so of the video. Jeez, why can't get up there? Ah, can't get up there. Oh, that's fine. But yeah, eight minutes of the video was just of the of echoing, <laughs> which is kind of fun, which I kind of find funny. But I was like, oh, I, I guess that's the thing. Uh, just me, be me, me, just because I, I guess I forgot to turn off the, turn the sound off of my TV, so it echoed. But yeah, which I'm thinking when I'm gonna edit that video, the last episode, I think I'm gonna do like I'm gonna do live commentary. Like I'm, more, I kind of looked at the video. I think it's fine enough. I mean, there'll be some echoing, but I think it's fine enough. I mean, people, you'll figure out, you'll figure out once I get done. Like you'll figure out once you figure out once I get done and everything. So uh, we actually can go down down here and get up get all that. Also, by the way, down here, there's actually no clues down here, which is really weird. Like they have this section, like with all this stuff where you can get all these coins and stuff, but like there's nothing down here besides. I mean, there's a waterfall, I guess. There's a waterfall, and like this section's pretty beautiful, but like. There's no, there's no clues on it, so there's like no point of, of really going down here besides, I mean, ex you can't explore down here and get a bunch of coins, but like, that's really it. Like, why did it go down here for? But yeah, ba oh gee, come on, come on. Basically, I just destroyed all those guards that were up here too, so. Uh, basically, usually, usually I just go up here and like, you know, destroy the guards, but like, also we can knock these guys. <laughs> like, look, these are the, like, you can see if you jump up here, that's the waterfall. See, that's the waterfall. That's awesome. Boom. <laughs> but yeah, we can knock the heads out. <laughs> it's pretty funny when you think about it. All right, the checkpoint. Now we had to go down here. We had to sneak and go down. Yeah, we had to sneak. Because we got this blue special. We had to hide. That didn't work. That did not work out at all. Oh, 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 we got hit. Wait, oh, we got hit. Oh, we got a lucky charm, though. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Oh jeez, that that did not work out because it got hit. Now you don't even have a guitar. There you go. <laughs> this is how this is how I do it. I mean, I can always swing, but you know, swinging is for you know losers. So I'm gonna do that. We did that. Yeah. Woo. Ah. Boom. Don't want to miss anything right here. Yes, I think I got all of them. Nice. We got all. The, we got all of the clues. That's, that's great. That's great. Ah, <laughs> uh, boy. Yep. I think we. I think we got. I think we got all the clues. So uh, that should be all the clues. Yep. It should be. Got one missing three. I believe there's two up here, and then. Oh. Yep. Why? Yep. We did. I think we got all of them. I think there's one over here. See, like it always happens where it's there's just one like why at the near very end. It's like. Yeah, I did it. That's awesome. Press the circle to enter the vault code. I could have broken this code in my sleep. The combination is five six five. 
five, six, five. That's pretty great. Let's see what do we unlock. Something good? Aha! Uh -huh. It's Sir Andrew Cooper's thief replica technique. He used to make fake standoffs of himself <laughs> to confuse guards into attacking the wrong thing. Use the triangle button to put together a fake Sly Cooper. <laughs> I know, the decoy. The decoy is pretty great. I'll show you that when we get there. You're like, got, we got this thing, we got a decoy, look. It waves. If we can destroy it, we can kill it. <laughs> oh boy, but yeah, we're actually gonna use it on some guards after we do after we get this key. So yeah, there's the seventh key. That means we can take down mugshot, baby. Mugshot, yeah. Okay, now this is where the decoy comes ha comes handy. What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on, let's see, let's... No, I, no, 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 hold on. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think, how it, how's this working? Maybe hey, that's not working. Huh. Okay, I was just trying to see if they can hit each other. I guess that didn't work. I mean, yeah, they follow the decor if, because they, they think that's sly, but I kind of wish, I kind of wish I was trying to get as close so they can hit each other. Because imagine, I don't know if that's been possible if they able to hit each other though. But maybe that's unlocked, that unlocks the whole boss section right there. Like you've got Mugshot's hi basic hideout there. <laughs> Which is really interesting. What is it even called anyway? It's called... Uh, oh, what is it called? Last Call. Last Call, okay. Now I can't see with Sly and, and, and uh, the... Mugshot, not panicking. Mugshot. What? My boys have been yapping about some big mysterious dude running around cracking skulls and, <laughs> and, and this is it? You're the monkey wrench in my operation? Some yeah. scrawny rat with a stick. All right. Wait a second. I seen that stick before. Maybe when my father knocked your block off with it. Your father? Wow. You're a Cooper? You know, that thing is Rakamagookas had a lot of nice pictures, but way too many big boys. So you don't mind just handing it over? Why? <laughs> what, are you kidding? You break into my place, steal my stuff, trash the joint, I feel transgressed and violated. Let's rock! Yeah, let's rock. He has tiny legs, though. Like, that's funny, like, it's always interesting how, like, he has tiny legs. But like, he has like, oh jeez, he has tiny legs but like really big muscles, which is kind of funny. Like it's really un unproportional, but you know, I guess that's mugshot shot for you. But yeah, this is actually a pretty little shot. Like, I mean, the big, it's not that hard to smoke shot, so like, it's fly one, but like, it's not that hard. Good thing I got a spare upstairs. Basically, you have these three sections where you have to like hit the mirrors for some strange reason. Like, you had to hit the mirrors. To defeat this buff, which I mean, this each section, like this section, is probably the hardest. But you just have to jump and dodge. Like it's not, it's not that hard. Oh jeez. The thing is, the mirrors do help help them up. Like the oh, glass on the mirrors, the glass, the glass does help because if it's because like the glass doesn't like you know help protect. Like the bullets don't destroy the glass, which is pretty great. I think we could defeat this guy on my first try. Yep. Like it's, it's not that hard. It's just. When I was younger, this level was really hard. I love, the, I love the, like the brightness, the like the stuff that's coming out of the of, of it, like the windows that you see, not the, not the mirrors that I'm hitting, but the the background mirrors, or the back back or the background uh, windows and stuff like that. Look pretty great. Yeah, basically you just do this. Pretty easy. Like all, that, they're like, look, look how they, look how easy this is. Like, come on, this is, this is, this is too, this is too easy. Like, first try. This is impossible. A little pipsqueak like you, beating a big strong bruiser like me? It ain't right. You want all of that stupid picture book? You're gonna have to go down to Haiti and cross paths with Miss Ruby. 
And then believe you me, you don't want to be you. Mugshot section of Ephibius Raccoonus contain an entry from my gunslinging ancestor, Tennessee Kid Cooper. His specialty was the rail walk and rail slide. Moves perfected through a lifetime of theft in the Old West. Getting out of town proved to be a little more challenging than getting in. Having just missed us, Inspector Fox went for the next best thing and dragged that canine steroid case off to jail. Huh? That was the end of Mugshot's gambling empire, and Mesa City's citizens soon returned home. Bye-bye. and the boys, well, we enjoyed the rest of our stay in America, and then returned to Paris, ready for our next mission. Nice. That's good. But anyway, we defeated the snakes next size. Let's move on to right, to, uh, Haiti. to get us to Haiti. Let's do it. The third member of the fiendish five was the infamous voodoo priestess Ms. Ruby. Born into a family of mystics, other children found her scary. Teaching herself to summon the undead provided what few friends she had. A career in crime allowed an adult Ms. Ruby to punish the world for fearing her as a child. Chief mystic for the fiendish five, her powers allowed them to break both the laws of man and nature at the same time. Yet despite the whirlwind success of her youth, she managed to slip into obscurity. Last known sightings claim she headed out of civilization and deep into the Haitian jungle. Yeah. Miss Ruby's turn, the third area, Vicious Voodoo. Which I think we're just done to the first uh, level. Just the first key. There's only been 12 minutes in the recording. <laughs> but yeah, basically we just did free bug shot on our first try. The Dead Swamp Path. The Dread Swamp Path. By Balu Lily. Alright. But yeah, basically this this basically we went from the western, like the Midwest of the nice or the West like of the American wet like Midwest to um basically the swamps of Haiti. Interesting travel way. Sorry, Sly, but this is one mission you will have to accomplish without me. You don't believe in ghosts, do you? Sure I do. My scanners have picked up verifiable paranormal activity. But that's not the problem. This swamp is oozing with disgusting mold and bacteria. Suck it up, Bentley. We got work to do. All right, then. Don't forget to use the new move you learned from Mugshot's section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the Raccoon Railwalk? The roots and vines around here are perfect for that. All you gotta do is... Jump and hit the circle button. Especially where you see the bark has been worn away. And where it's super slick from Mickey Slime and Moss. You'll rail slide like a skater grinding pipe. I'm liking it. But basically, basically just jump... You circle like the normal, like, this game's just circle, like, all you gotta do is circle button. But yeah, basically, basically, like, this, this area is, like, it's interesting just to see the transition between different sections of the game, like, cause we go from, was it, a more like, you know, wiry frog, like, in, like, you know, wiry boat to pirate themed area to a, a mid, like, a mid American West themed to a, to Haiti, a swamp. Middle of Haiti and swamp. You know, like, yeah, so with these, all these bugs and just monsters. Like, look at these. These are blood sucking monsters right here. Like, these these guys are your enemies. Like, they suck your blood. That's what they do. It's just like, that's not good. They're they're really bad. But, uh, oh, jeez. Ah! Okay, that's interesting. But, uh, there's also look at Chomp there if we can get it. Which we probably will eventually get it, but yeah, but basically the transition between different areas like the next area we got the Panic King after the, which is like a snowy area. So we go from like, yeah, we go from, uh, what is it? The pirate themed Sir Wally to the mugshot of the mid American West, Midwest, and then you go, and then you go to, uh, was it? <laughs> Uh, the the swamp of Haiti of Miss Ruby's area, and then you go to the Panda King's area, which is all like you know, chi it's China, I believe it's China, but it's like snowy mountains and it's like that, and it's like like in this frozen the frozen mountains of China, and then you have and then you go to the 
then you go to like a volcano. <laughs> For a car with theory. So like it's definitely I mean at least at least the at least with you know, going from pancakes to, to clockworks, it like kind of makes sense. It's the opposite, so they just go to the opposite. What's the opposite of frozen mountains? A volcano. Even though the po actually, technically, I guess, the, would be the opposite be like a desert? No, and, or no, what versus like snowy mountains or whatever. <laughs> but I guess, still, I guess it's still technically a mountain because volcanoes basically a mountain, basically that erupts lava and stuff. <laughs> I, I I do have to appreciate this level. This level looks beautiful. Like this, like Miss the Miss Ruby's. I think Miss Ruby's area is gonna look the best. Like, like Miss Ruby's area looks amazing. Oh, like this does like just go around. All you do had to go around and get all get all the candles. But I did destroy them. Okay. Oh boy. I'm missing a candle somewhere. It's way right over there. It's way right over there. I mean, it's pretty easy to dodge all these guys. Boom! You've done it. The Mojo Force Field is down, and you can steal the key. I'm gonna collect all the clues first. There it is. There's the last. There's the last clue. Like, <laughs> I was wondering where it was. That it was right there. Now what? This is four four four, I believe. Press the circle to enter the vault code. If I did my math right, and I always. Do my math right, and then the combination has got to be five eight eight. Oh, my mind, my mind. I don't know why I thought. Maybe not there yet. I don't know why I thought it was five, like four, 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 like three fours. But I guess. So I was, I was getting ahead. Of it. I don't know why. I don't know why I thought that. Electrified. Kelly McCooper's notes on how to harness the electromagnetic field. Ah, there you go. Oh right, oh right. Interesting. So now we can do like what's this? We can do <laughs> look like look, look. This tingling sensation. See like this what this is what which is what Bentley means. Oh wow, that's that's interesting. Basically, basically hold on. Is there an basically what's this? Boom. Break it can break stuff now. It can break stuff really easily. It's just which makes a lot, which makes it interesting and all that. We got our first key though in this episode. Pretty great. Nice. Now, now we unlock. Now we unlock the west of Miss Ruby's area, or the main hub area. The main hub area. Yeah. Look at the hub. The swamp's dark center. Whoa. <laughs> My paranormal scanner is maxing out on that structure. A reading like that could only be coming off Ms. Ruby herself. I think you're right, Sly. If you want to crack at Ms. Ruby, you're going to have to find a way inside that skull temple. Oh, uh, yeah, look. God, yeah, this looks beautiful. Like, this section looks beautiful. Like, oh my god, like, just. Oh, just so dark and threatening. There's Miss Ruby herself. Oh, uh, that actually was Miss Ruby herself, the boss, and everything. But yeah, that, that was that was a, this this level. This like this Miss Ruby's area actually looks beautiful, and, and on the slide collection, by the way. But anyway, I've been Green Covers Gaming, 
And I see you guys in the next episode. As we do some more missions in Miss Ruby's area and everything. So, anyway. I've been Green Colors Gaming. I'm out. Wow. Bye-bye.